We all know that Holland is a great playing toll nation in EU4, but there's another nation in the Netherlands area that is equally amazing, and by starting as a Flanders, you get the best of both worlds, a unique mission tree with Flavor Universalis for Flanders, as well as the Holland or Dutch mission tree after we form the Netherlands. We got a very similar start to Holland, we start as a junior member of the Burgundian crown, and we're gonna get our independence. You have a mission once you have your independence. This mission offers a great tech cost reduction bonus based on the national focus. So for example, if we focus on military, we're gonna get it for military or if we focus on the other two, we'll get it for those. The mission tree itself is absolutely insanely great with the uh, modifiers such as production of cloth plus 25 and a textile manufacturing in Bruges. And you can get this very early on, which obviously improves your condition and it makes your country extremely rich from cloth production. Remember that most of the Netherlands produces cloth and speaking of most of the Netherlands we get a, a mission that offers claims on all of the Netherlands permanent claims very early on as well after we get our independence as well as there's some new monuments to pretty much all of the Netherlands has a uh, great project the Bruges dike that offers 25 dev cost reduction in this province the Ghent dike as well offers the same thing and weapon dike Zeeland dike Den Haag and the uh, classic uh, Dutch polters with the Amsterdam Dyke, the Admiralty of Amsterdam, and the Amsterdam Stock Exchange. So it really pays off starting off in the Dutch area more than any other area in the world. First thing we'll be doing is a standard estate plus one mana privilege for all three of the estates with supremacy over the crown, religious diplomats to improve our relations with our Catholic brethren, patronage of the arts of course, and the advisor cost reduction for all three estates. We can do that now since we can actually stab up to one so we start with 100 12 mana points so we can get one stability so it doesn't matter after if this increases our stability cost you want the one stability so you get the passive prosperity in your country you need just one stability to get this don't forget to also summon the diet and go for whichever agenda best suits you and seize crownlands afterwards if you're really short on cash what you can do because we cannot sell titles in the recent patch anymore is you can get the indebted to the burgers loans which are five loans at one percent interest and and we only pay back 0.08 interest it's like not paying back anything really so we can use this money to get advisors and just uh, start investing into our oh my god it actually costs a hundred ducats to get the Bruges dike oh my god this is so doable how about this one also a hundred ducats yo this is cool because it lowers the dev cost reduction from the start oh man I really love this already I wish uh, Rizel had a dike as well we can ask some nations for our independence England is more than happy to support our independence as is austria for that matter oh it looks like savoy might be able to support our independence if we in relations with them a little bit i don't think i need to though i'm not sure i even want to do the independence war just yet we are gonna get some uh, advisors though because they are super cheap 0.5 ducats for a level one advisor at the start is ridiculously low and we're gonna get 2,000 more units regular troops not mercenaries not just yet we're also gonna assign our ships to protect the trade in the uh, english channel node and we're gonna build a few more light ships for that matter oh burgundy abandoned the union with us oh they did that because we got support independence from two massive countries here well that makes sense kind of pepega because now i have a worse mana output and these guys are a little bit more expensive since i don't have the well connected that uh, philippe has but it's fine let's get some allies in that case i wish i could get austria as an ally but they're not really on uh, board with that so i'm just gonna get whatever allies i can get and uh work my way towards getting that juicy alliance with the austrians we're we're quite close 46 54 not that bad maybe if we get a royal marriage it's gonna help a little bit more 49 54 very very close looks like the french and the english are back at it with the hundred years war and uh, if i have to bet and i'm not a betting man but i do think that the french are gonna win this they have twice the amount of troops that the english have i just hope they don't take calais because i actually want to take calais for myself by carefully improving relations with the austrians looks like we can get our alliance finally with them that's gonna be very very much of help against the burgundians especially oh my dude 114 hell no oh my lord imagine actually putting a 114 on your throne the end of an era is here which means we got one extra dip
diplomat and improve relations and princely diplomacy gives us two early corrects in Bruges and we can do the Flanders the lion that offers one stability 20 prosperity in the state of Flanders that's pretty good so we went up to 79 prosperity already in three years wow that is really freaking amazing we gotten Mr. Lodzevic he's not too bad he's a 431 that's according to my standards at least cessation of church function sounds to me like a bunch of uh, religious taxation time y'all now to do this mission we need to either have really good relations with the English or insult them and uh, embargo them <laughs> and I think that's what I'm gonna go for Daria go it is gonna cost us a little bit having an embargo on the English but we can cancel that after we do the mission of course I kind of don't like the fact that I didn't go through the independence war because it's easy to do the independence war when you have England and Austria helping you out and we could have taken like three provinces which in the meanwhile meant that our aggressive expansion is going down this way my aggressive expansion is not going down because I don't have any and I cannot believe that I don't have any for me that's unusual okay we hired the free company so we can start our war against the Burgundians and that means we can also do prepare the army mission that offers permanent claims on uh, this massive area here we also can call in the Austrians in our war as long as we promise them some land and avoid for that matter I'm just gonna wait for a couple of months though until my army gets a little bit of morale I really don't want to wait for too long though because I'm a little bit worried what's gonna happen is uh, the uh, Burgundians are gonna go to war with Austria because of the Liege war which they always attack Liege for some reason we can also assign objectives for our allies so for example I'm gonna ask Savoy here to take care of Saluzzo and uh, Austria to take care of Switzerland quickly before they can help me out of course we also need to change our edict to defensiveness so we get a bit of extra time before they take our forts by taking the province of Artois we have the passive taking war score since we have fulfilled our objective so we need to make sure we keep that province oh my lord look at all these Austrians they just recruited an entire army man go go Austrian Rangers the multicultural empire what I mean I'll be honest the Austrians are doing 90% of the heavy lifting here and Savoy of course too I'm still trying to get this fort in the meanwhile and the best part is that Burgundy is actually focusing on Savoy's lands rather than me I love the smell of burning Burgundy in the morning avec le sac of the Armagnon oui oui we got 5% professional liaison uh please don't take out my army Burgundy I love you very much that's right go kill Montferrat's troops <laughs> that's what you should be doing all right you know what I'm gonna help him out because I kind of want the siege is 49% for Christ's sake let's go help him out oh no 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 oh we won we won oh frack yeah boys frack yeah that's what I'm talking about right there that's teamwork that's family okay especially if you're a Habsburg <laughs> I got a feeling that Savoy's not gonna be in this war for too much longer especially if these forts are gonna fall oh seriously Austria they literally just abandoned their sieges to go into the south what's happening oh Burgundy's taking your stuff down and we can get military tech 5 noise because we've gotten a few of these techs ahead of time we got 12 innovativeness already come on we got to take this fort before the Burgundian army arrives here let's go boys let's go I'm also gonna use some of my diplo points to lower war exhaustion because it's gone up pretty freaking high already hula bula bula do la do yes sir thank you very much now let's take uh Retiloa. actually let's wipe out these troops if we can can we not oh what am i trapped here <gasps> oh this bad this is really really bad okay i need to take this fort on the bright side austria to the rescue in the south here and these bastardos are gonna take artois so there goes my war score wait how did savoy end up with just 3,000 units they had like 12,000. did they get stack wiped when and of course their freaking siege goes up to 21 percent after like three freaking ticks and i'm at 49 and it's still not falling i bet this is gonna fall before oh wow it actually fell a lot faster than their fort never mind let's try and take it before it falls please don't fall i damn it i hate this game <laughs> come on really it literally just fell right oh no savoy just peaced out that is not good okay we need to take this come on boys not a thousand days please oh dude i've got so many loans i'm gonna go into bankruptcy after this war and of course it took me 200 days to take that fort with 112 garrison hell yeah austria thank you for doing all the hard lifting sir i know you are expecting me to give you some lands but uh about that i think i'm just gonna 
gonna take Netherlands for myself here, and by Netherlands I mean Holland. We still have a little bit of worse score. I don't think I can give you France Comte though. No, I cannot. I cannot. I know, I know you're upset with me, but you know what? You know what, Austria? It's not about the uh, money. It's not about the land. It's about the friends we made along the way. Okay, that's what really matters. Also, look how beautiful we are right now. Do not look at the fact that I have a billion freaking loans. Thirty-six loans. Oh God. But uh, on the bright side, I can now chill for a few years because I have a lot of aggressive expansion. Fix my economy. Actually, I don't mind concentrating. It's gonna make it cheaper to core it up. All right, now we can do presence in Holland. Every owned Dutch dike will be cheaper to upgrade. Oh, that's cool. So how much is this now? 75. 25 ducats cheaper. So we got another one in Zeeland, Den Haag, and the one in uh, Amsterdam. The reason why I took the uh, nation of Holland out essentially is because this is really high trade power in all of these provinces here. And it also the uh, dikes in all of the provinces. Plus, with uh, just these six provinces, I can get a massive amount of income. And once I'm ready, I can just uh, include Brabant and the rest and just double my income as well. Oh no, Austria, you break the alliance. Why, sir? Why do you not like me, Austria? What have I ever given you? I mean, done to you. God, the war exhaustion is massive. Wait, did I just core this up with that high war exhaustion? All right, now we can core it up. And we can take some more land, summon the Dietzki as well. 40% in the coast of Holland. I'm confident we can get that. Get some uh, seizure and 18.597. Not really bad. In order to start fixing my economy, one thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to try and get an alliance with France because I'm going to have to cancel the one with Austria. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to cancel it myself. There you go. There you go. And aside from the alliance with France, I'm also going to sell my heavy ships to whoever wants to buy them so I can start fixing my economy a little bit. 20 ducats? No, I want more. 30 ducats? How about 40? Anybody giving me 40? No, still 30. You know what? Fine. 30 ducats for the ships. And we can use this money to pay off some of our older loans that are 20 ducats loans. And we can get newer uh, burger loans after we pay the old burger loans. It also pains me to do this, but I am going to be disbanding the free company. I love you guys, but I'm over my force limit. Oh, wow. France just declared war on Burgundy, which means that France is going to take a massive chunk out of these guys, make them weaker. So in the next war against the Burgundians, I'm going to have an easier time taking a lot of stuff myself. Just hope that they're not going to take the northern provinces, though. Oh, dude, are you serious, Austria? Are you actually asking me if I'm lawful territory? Get the hell out of here. We will, of course, be going for the holy trinity here of national ideas, quantity with economics so we can play toll, followed by trade because we need trade to boost the amount of trade that we get in the best trade node in the game. Goes without saying, but we will be accepting Dutch as our main culture here. Well, as an accepted culture and we'll do the same to Walloon, but we need to have 20 development. We only have 11 development right now in this province. I'm going to dev this up a little bit more in a while. Not yet. I need to get prosperity back. I lost all of my prosperity during the war with uh, the Burgundians, sadly. Don't forget to also lower the autonomy whenever you conquer new provinces. That's going to increase the amount of income that you get from those provinces and the manpower that you get as well. Oh, what? Arnulf, what did you do, man? What did you do? Did you sleep with the Mexican housekeeper again? You know what? I really am thinking to just waste 73 Diplo points and convert this to Flemish. I'm only doing this because at the end of the day, Valoon is such a small culture group. Like what? You got... Okay, actually, it's not that small. <laughs> There's more Valoon provinces than Flemish. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just uh, stepped on my own toes right there. But still, I'm still converting Rizel. Rizel is proper Flemish land, okay? Look at that. We're almost making money at this point. Almost. How about now? Almost. Almost. <laughs> Had to take a few loans because uh, I'm going to be building a lot more ships. I want to get 10 light ships, so let's get a loans. Oh, really, France? You actually took the entire south part here? Bro, you sneaky French boys. This is almost like historical borders between the Netherlands and France. I want Artois and Cambrai, though. Uh. Uh, what, France? You want me to transfer my trade power to you? Uh, how about no? Also, go F yourself, you bastards. How dare you ask me such an insulting thing? Our economy is back on track. We have a positive balance now as we fixed most of the problems that we had before. We're gonna make sure our ships are back in harbor and we're gonna be attacking the nation of Utrecht. Oh, wow, France is gonna join. That's gonna make it really easy. Okay, let's uh, go for Utrecht. We're gonna make Utrecht itself the main target here and we might even give some of the Bretonian lands to the 
French as reward for helping us. I'm a little bit conflicted about actually giving all of Brittany to France because I don't really want to make France that strong. But at the same time, go for war reparations, trade power, and after whatever I can give out. There you go. One province is enough for the French. East Frisia on the other hand, I did not co-belligerate, so I'm taking a lot of extra aggressive expansion. But I am going to fully annex them because they have 12 trade power here, which is a massive amount of trade power. So let's go with the annexation. That you go. Fulio annexatio noise. And of course, exactly the same thing for uh, Utrecht. I do have a little bit of a coalition, I believe. Yeah, we got Dortmund, Aachen, all of these uh, countries that neighbor us. But I am allied to France and I'm confident that France is going to help in case of anything. So I'm not worried about any actual coalition triggering. France asking me to transfer power again. What's wrong with you, France? I'm not giving you my trade power. And we can get military tech six, which is amazing. It means that we now have 28 innovativeness already. The definition and absolute best way of playing toll is stacking up all of that innovativeness from the start to lower the cost of developing provinces. We're at 34 and if we encourage development here, it's going to be a lot cheaper already. Wait, what the hell happened to Switzerland? They're reduced to two provinces? Our economic situation is rapidly improving, especially because of our trade income. We're getting 10 ducats already from trade alone. And I'm going to do something uh, that I think all of you were expecting. I'm going to sell the titles and I'm also going to get the 1% burger loans again because now my loans are 57 ducats so I can basically pay off all of my older loans here and just leave the 1% loans around meaning I'm gonna get almost no interest 0.23 interest and I'm getting six ducats flat that's insane especially since I'm over my force limit by one ducat here means we can also invest in the Zeeland dike now and I believe the Amsterdam dike or that one's a little bit more expensive for some reason why is that actually it's the same benefit why is it more expensive? My truce is over again with the uh, Burgundians. I'm going to attack them. This time I can take them on 1v1. But I'm going to call in Savoy and Munster just because I can. So why not? Burgundy only has 7,000 soldiers. 6,000. What? Oh, they're in a battle. This is the entire Burgundian army. What? Yo, they're so weak, man. I'm going to take all their land here. I need the money, but at the same time, prestige means I get better armies. So I'm going to get the prestige, obviously. Always go for prestige if you don't have 100 prestige in any events in general. I also like how the AI deletes forts now whenever its economy is bad. So they deleted the fort in uh, Luxembourg and apparently the one in Franche Comte as well, which is going to make it really easy for me to just siege down their capital now. Oh wow, for real Arnulf, again you're embarrassing the court. What are you doing, man? You need to get your shit straight, bro. The best part about this whole war is that I can get trade power from Phrygia, which is in my main trade node and I'm going to benefit from that a lot. Blockade what who's blockading me oh these guys are blockading me i didn't even realize i'm getting blockaded here let's uh go ahead and peace out kill now i think we got the war score yes we do can we get trade power we cannot but we can get war reparations and some money so that's enough for me didn't really fight their armies i just uh siege down their land but the reality is that unless you really need to fight an enemy army you can also get a decent peace deal by just taking their provinces and once more savoy is taking the brunt of this uh war with all of their country getting absolutely raffle stomped. Wait, did they lose Nita to Florence? When did this happen? I'm also going to use my money to build up the uh, marketplaces. I would not be against uh, Savoy just piecing out right now because I'm losing a lot of war score from uh, Burgundy occupying uh, Savoyan lands. Ah, yeah, boys. I knew they're going to peace out. Look at this, man. They, oh God, they, they gave land to Burgundy? What? No fortifications here though, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, I actually got 90% war score now, so I can piece them out right so i'm gonna take the south two provinces which is 39 aggressive expansion i'm also releasing brabant so they're independent and i'm also releasing luxembourg i am doing this obviously because burgundy is going to fall in the uh, pu under either austria or france because they have charles already as the king so once charles dies the burgundian inheritance triggers and i really don't want to have to fight france or austria to just get these provinces here this way would Bravant independent I can just attack them whenever my truce expires with them I'm gonna have to wait until that point anyway for the aggressive expansion to go down you know what I'm gonna make them my rival as well and now look at this guys 11 ducats profit with an army that is over the force limit 
and with all three advisors as well granted level one for now but still we're making a lot of money so we're going to use this money to invest in building the workshops marketplaces and all the other buildings that we need as well as upgrade our pilgrims or dikes whatever they're called all over our country 262 to upgrade this one to level two that's not too expensive oh dude gelray actually taking advantage of brabant and now they attacked him whilst brabant had no allies what a bunch of schnitzel dwarfs man these gelrians all right they took a few provinces but they left them alive so that's not too bad i might even vassalize them in the next war i guess in that case remember how i said that flanders is insanely great for playing toll well look at this guys i'm gonna set up the encouraged development edict in the main flemish state and look at this ghent five mana points to develop when it's already 14 development because of these particular modifiers here and we have not even unlocked economic with the quantity ideas which offers an extra minus 30 percent dev cost reduction this in 1478 is fucking ridiculous sorry for the f word but it really is absolutely ridiculous look how easy it is man to just get a massive amount of money now from just a few provinces that you start off with and remember that this scales up same thing in these areas as well let's uh, develop this a little bit as well i'm gonna get every province to 20 development i think that's a fair amount of dev and because we developed so much we actually went up to 34 crownlands let's go ahead and sell that so we can use this now to build up more buildings in our country and get even more money out of our provinces as consequence i was waiting for my aggressive expansion to go down now it's low enough and i'm gonna be attacking gelre let's go with Tversky. we got 22,000 troops at this point so we can take them on ourselves but why not use the french if we can the war was very easy the big problem is the fact that i'm getting a ton of countries in a coalition if i take everything but i really want to take everything so i will i'm just gonna wait until the next year before I annex them not a massive difference I would have to wait for one more year before a lot of nations actually would leave the coalition but I don't have that much time and uh, I really just want to take this out so I can develop these provinces as well the good side is though that Austria is not joining in that coalition because they only have 49 aggressive expansion the rest of the HRE miners I don't really care about and I also am going to get my alliance with the Bohemians which is going to ensure that the coalition does not trigger even if it does form time to also contact show here and let's start coring up everything now i'm also gonna ally milan which again is a pretty big nation here because look at the amount of countries going in the coalition against me it's basically all of western germany in the coalition to make sure that these nations are gonna leave the coalition i'm gonna start improving relations with them once you have 50 relations on the plus with the nation that is in a coalition against you they automatically leave that coalition might take a while sometimes but it, they will definitely leave it and remember that even even though the coalition is formed as long as you have a lot of good allies very very likely that it's not gonna actually trigger if you thought i'm getting a lot of money before from selling crownlands look at this now 700 freaking ducats few years pass and there you go people starting to leave the coalition against us they're too scared of our might everybody and that's pretty accurate because we're making 28 ducats as profit with full land force limit begonia heathens from the coalition i've also kind of gone over board with alliances just in case anybody attacks which pretty much prevented anybody from attacking i just realized this but i can actually have up to forty-eight thousand units now with just the dutch lands and we can also do a few more missions charter of liberty as well as restore the cities that offers one random development in every province that has a tax building aside from the modifier we can also do expand the lake in hallen which upgrades every trade building ahead of time so that means we're gonna get all of these marketplaces upgraded to depots which is like a hundred years early let me make sure i have marketplace in every single province in that case i don't have it in every single province let me build a marketplace everywhere first before i click that mission oh what i just got called into the burgundian war for real so who got the union austria got the union and i'm fighting alongside the french against the austrians looks to me like france basically has this oh actually Actually, Aaron and Castile is in this war as well. Uh, maybe France does not got this. But hey, you know what? We finished all of our marketplaces, so we can do this mission now. And basically, we now have a lot more trade power in the English Channel. Also, since we vassalized Friesland, we can do the mission Defend Our People, which essentially forms the Netherlands and integrates all of our vassals with the click of a button. This mission is insane. And if you really
really want to rush it, you can just vassalize all of the uh, Flemish lands and all the Dutch lands. And then with the click of that button, you can form the Netherlands in 20, 30 years, 70 years faster than you otherwise would be able to form it. I'm not yet clicking this button because I also want to do Land of Cloth. And in order to do that, I need to build a few more ships first and foremost. You know what? Even without my help, the French are actually pushing back half of Europe, man. They're super strong. My ships are ready too, so let's go with the Golden Standard. And we also can do the greatest mission that the Flemish have. The Land of Cloth that essentially gives a textile manufacturing in Bruges. And makes it so that our cloth production massively improves our economy. Look at this, guys. We got 30 ducats on the plus whilst fielding 56,000 units. And over our naval force limit as well. And it is time to click the Defend Our People button. Which means we've integrated all of our vassals that we had that had 175 relations with us. That is why I waited until Frisia had that relation with us. And we can also advance our ideas now too. Plus, we got the improved... Netherlands mission tree which offers a lot of amazing missions revolving both around playing tall and improving the Dutch areas here plus establishing a massive colonial empire that spans the entirety of the planet. Playing as Flanders is insanely fun especially with the flavor universalis mod that I have for today so I strongly encourage you guys check out the mod yourself. Also check out this awesome video up next and I really want to thank all my patrons, channel members and Twitch subscribers for the amazing support you guys have been offering, I really wouldn't be able to maintain this channel without all of your help.